We are learning more about the lives that were lost here in Las Vegas on that horrific night, and we want to honor those victims by taking some time to share their stories with you. Steven Berger came to Las Vegas from Minnesota to celebrate his 44th birthday. He was at the concert with his college buddies, a tradition that they do every year. Heather Alvarado was a devoted mother of three and a wife to a firefighter. She ran a daycare center in Utah, recently moving there from Riverside, California. Michelle Vo was a San Francisco Bay Area native living in Los Angeles. Her friends say they'll remember her by her beautiful smile, which she wore everywhere she went. Rocio Gien was a devoted mother to four, her youngest just six weeks old. Her sons describe her as the loudest mom in the stands at their football and baseball games. She was at the concert with her fiance. 29-year-old Austin Davis, friends admire him for his relationship with his parents. They called him a true mama's boy with the biggest heart. Davis was from Riverside, California. Stacey Echebar was at the concert with her husband, a San Francisco police officer, when he told her to run. Instead, she stayed behind, spending the last few minutes of her life helping keep others safe. Rhonda LaRock was at the festival with her husband of 20 years and their six-year-old daughter. The tickets were a gift from Rhonda's father-in-law, who was also there and had taken his granddaughter up to bed before the shooting started. John Fippen was dancing next to his son at the concert when he was struck by the gunfire. He was a father of four. He was known for singing while he worked as a general contractor in Santa Clarita, California. Bill Wolf was in Las Vegas celebrating his wedding anniversary with his wife, Robin. Wolf was a devoted wrestling coach and caring father to two sons. Kurt Von Tilla was watching the concert with his wife, sister, and niece. He was an avid golfer, and his friends say they'll always remember him for his big belly laughs. Hannah Allers was at the festival with her husband and close friends. She was a loving mother, and Hannah's father-in-law says she could have lit up the world with her smile. Lisa Patterson was visiting Las Vegas with her friends from Southern California. Her husband of more than 30 years called her the center of his life and the life of their three children. 21-year-old Jordan Rivera was a senior in college studying healthcare management. One of her professors said she will be remembered for her warmth, her optimism, her energy, and kindness. Melissa Ramirez came from a close-knit extended family. She was in Las Vegas from North Hollywood, California. Jack Beaton was celebrating his 23rd anniversary with his wife in Las Vegas, whose life he saved when he protected her with his body. Together, they share two children. Doreen Anderson was from Anchorage, Alaska. She was at the concert with her husband and their daughters, and just days before, Doreen posted pictures of those famous Las Vegas palm trees on her Facebook page. Tara Rose Smith was a devoted wife and mother of two young boys. She and her husband were in Las Vegas for a short weekend getaway. Her family describes her as having a beautiful soul. Carrie Galvin was enjoying the concert with her husband and friends. She was a mother of three, and her sister says Carrie woke up every day focused on being the most wonderful mom she could be. Tom Day Jr. took a road trip with his family from California to the concert. He was a devoted father of four grown children and a loving grandfather of two. Her ship and her son Corey shared a love of country music. They'd already spent two days at the festival. Her niece says Laura will always be remembered for having a huge heart and a contagious free spirit. Carrie Parsons was on a girl's trip to Las Vegas to see her favorite country singer, Eric Church. Her friends say Carrie was known for her bubbly personality and recently got engaged while on a trip to Hawaii. Calla Medig was at the concert with her roommate. The two came from Canada. Calla was described as a kind-hearted woman with a beaming smile. Carly Karabam was at the festival with her friends. The group came down from Iowa. Carly was a caring mother and a mother of two children. Kelsey Meadows was a substitute teacher and a proud Fresno State alumna. Her alma mater says it will fly its flags at half staff on the day of her services. And finally, Brennan Stewart was shielding his girlfriend when the gunfire erupted and he was killed doing just that. The 30-year-old was a Las Vegas native and he loved country music. And Marie, those are just some of the stories of people whose lives were lost here in Las Vegas.